Hello everyone! I hope that you're doing amazing wherever you are in the world. My name is Boom Shekha and I welcome you to my channel. As always, I'm so grateful that you're listening, subscribing and commenting. I really appreciate your support. And in this one, I wanted to speak to you about courage. It's such a powerful word, isn't it? I mean, I just love that word courage. It's so, it kind of like it invokes like all of these images in your head of people, you know, samurais and, and battles and, and integrity and all those beautiful things, all those honorable things that you care about and want in your life. But I wanted to speak about courage because I've noticed that a lot of people, viewers, people in my life, friends, family, etc., have been kind of messaging me saying things like, you seem to be a very courageous person. Where do you get your courage from? Or I love watching you because you're so courageous and I like to learn from you. Or I, I, I try to kind of like garner or get some of that courage from you and, and suck it out of you so I can use it for myself. <laughs> or things like that, right? And I kind of, at first, feel a bit confused about it. Because... Not to say, not to be humble about it. Oh, I'm not courageous. I, uh, no, that's not it. That's not, I'm, not, not what I'm doing here. But literally what I think about when people say things like that is like, it's not courage, people. That's not what I'm displaying. It is integrity and being true to my values. That is what I'm displaying. That is what, uh, what I'm doing right now, right? And so I feel like there's a little bit of confusion because I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm also looking at it in a very specific manner and I'm like, this is not the dictionary term, so I'm being a little bit facetious, fastidious about it. But the point is, words matter, words are powerful, and you need to define things properly in order to live the best life possible. That's what I think. And so I really don't think it's courage, because then what happens with courage, and it's a very interesting thing, what happens with courage is that you're like, well, she has courage, but I don't have courage, so I don't live my life the way I want to live it. Right? It's a very good excuse. It's easy. All right. She has courage. I don't. I can live my life the way I want to. I don't have to live my life according to my integrity or my values because I don't have courage. Yeah? It's something like a delineation. And all those people who are living their life according to their values and the, uh, the way they want to, they have courage. You don't have it. Boo-hoo. Now you can just live your life the way you want to. Right? And it's so easy, right? You're like, oh, right. <sighs> Phew. Now I can just do whatever I want. I don't have to worry about anything. And it's not that obviously, right? It's not courage. It's not like, oh, you've been given a little dose of courage when you were, you know, born by God. You're like, all right, I'm just gonna give her a tiny little bit of courage because let's see what happens. And then to this other person, oh, I'm gonna give them a big dose of courage. Yay, let's see what they do with their lives. That's not how it works, yeah? It's not like, oh, all right, oh, I have courage. Okay, so I was given it when I was born or I have it, now I can use it. It's that I developed it or that I developed this intense desire this fervent desire within me to live according to my values and not to be a person who dilly-dallies about things. That's what courage means to me at least. Courage means to me that I've decided that every single day I'm gonna get up in the morning, I'm gonna live my life according to my values every single moment of my life and not deter on them, not compromise on them, and so I can go to bed at night feeling like, yeah, good. My conscience is clear. I lived a great day. It was a good day. I did everything that I wanted to do. I didn't waste my time. I didn't deter or compromise on my values. I lived my life according to the values and the systems that I wanted to live according to. And I was in integrity the whole time as much as possible. And now I can go to bed with a clear conscience. And then guess what? We're going to do that again the next day. And then the next day after that. And then the day after that as well. And that's what a life is, right? It's a string of days that adds up to a life, to a life well-lived or not well-lived. So that's what courage is, guys, people. That is what courage is, people. It's not the fact that you're given something and you either use it or don't use it. It's that you get up every morning and decide, okay, how am I gonna live my life today? Actually, how am I gonna live my day today? How, what am I gonna do with my day today? How am I gonna live it? What's gonna happen today? Am I going to live according to my integrity, according to my values, or am I going to compromise at every step and pretend like it's because of someone else, because someone else's fault, it's someone else's fault. I'm not living my life because my parents didn't do this for me, or I'm not living my life because I'm not tall enough, or I'm not living the life that I want to live because I was born this way, or you know, things like that, right? Excuses, excuses, blah, blah, blah. But the point is, you can get up, 
in the morning and say, okay, no, I'm not going to compromise. These are the values that I have. These are the different five things that I want to live by. And if I can just live by these five things all day long, I will know that I lived in integrity and that'll be courageous. As simple as that. Not as simple as that, really, if you live it. It's very difficult because there's so many different things kind of pulling at you all day long, telling you, yeah, you know what? Netflix has this new, new show on. I know you said you were going to write your book today, but hmm, look at that show. You, do, you could watch that show. Or, hey, you want to go out and, and enjoy yourself rather than do your meditation? That's a great idea. Let's do that instead, right? And so constantly throughout the day, things are going to be pulling at you, pushing at you, poking at you, prodding at you, saying, no, don't do what you want to do according to your values. Live an easy life. Live a fun life. And so some days, yes, some days you'll get up and be like, I don't want to do anything and I'm not gonna because I'm a free bird. <laughs> whatever that means. <laughs> and then you kind of live your day completely wasted, do whatever you want, really actually live in a way you're like you hate yourself at the end of it. And the end of the night, at the end of the day, at nighttime, you're falling asleep and you have complete self-hatred. And you, you know that you completely wasted the day in a way that you didn't even enjoy it. You didn't do the things that you wanted to do. You just let the world pull you around here and there. And so the next day you're like, no, I'm not going to do that anymore. Right? And then eventually it becomes a pattern in your life. And that's where I am right now. It took me a while to get here, guys. I mean, people. I, it took me a long time to get here, people. Long, long time. Really, literally, very long time. And I'm, I'm still learning, of course. I'm not perfect, obviously. And so some days are good, some days are bad. But mostly they're good, which is the reason why people think I'm courageous. Because a lot of days I'll get up and be like, no, today I'm going to live according to my integrity. Yeah, I could just be roaming around and having fun, but no, I'm going to do my work. I have five things on my to-do list. I'm going to get them done today. I'm not going to procrastinate. Or no, today something someone told me this, and instead of stepping back and crying about it or being, being scared about it, I actually stepped up to them and said, no, it's not right. You can't say that to me. And so little by little, these moments add up. Little by little, these days adds up, add, these days add up. And then eventually you have a life that's worthy living, worth living. Yeah, it's a life where you can say, you can look at yourself in the mirror and be like, yeah, wow, I'm actually really proud of myself. Yeah, I'm living the life that I want to live. If I die tomorrow, it's okay. I have no regrets. Yeah, so I think that's what it's about. That's what courage is about. It's about those picking the right thing in every moment of your life, making the right choices in every moment of your life. Because it's so easy to make the wrong choices. It's so easy to make the choice that's not right for you according to your values and your systems and, and the way you want to live your life, your vision for your life, your mission for your life. It's so easy to be like, no, I, I'm just going to do this because everyone else is doing it. Why do I have to live this hard life? Why do I have to meditate every day? Everyone else isn't doing it. Why do I have to do it? Right? It's very easy to be like that. But you said, no, right? I'm not going to do that because... I'm the one living my life and I have to look at myself in the mirror every day and I have to look myself in the eye every day and I want to be able to look at myself in the eye and and be proud of who I see in there yeah be proud of the person that I am and the only way that can happen is if I'm courageous in every single moment little by little moving little by little one step by step yeah every single moment matters now it doesn't mean that certain moments you're not going to make a a bad choice or you're not gonna make a mistake of course you're going to that's normal that's life but as long as you have more moments where you lived according to your values than those moments that you didn't you have a courageous life you have a life filled with integrity right it matters it's about the majority of your moments right where are the majority of your moments going are they going towards your values are they going towards integrity or are they going backwards towards nonchalant, shallow living where you don't actually live according to your standards and you're just kind of passing the time, getting through each day just to get to the next day because maybe something exciting will happen tomorrow. Oh no, not tomorrow. Okay, maybe tomorrow. And little by little, just wasting your days away until you die, right? So what are you exactly doing? Yeah. So that's basically the essence of it. And so I really don't, when people are like, oh, you're so courageous. I'm like, it's not like it's something given to me. It's not like something has been kind of pushed into my heart. Like, all right, you have this, these many units of courage. Everyone has it within them. It's about choices. Courage is about choices. What choices are you making in each moment of your life? Right? That's basically as simple as that. 
And I know a lot of people are not going to like that because it's so easy, so much easier to say, oh, this person has courage. I don't. So I'm going to live my life as I want. Um, think again. You're wrong. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. I'm going to end the video here. Again, if you have questions, please comment below and I shall answer them either in video format or if it's easy enough, I'll do a reply. Again, thank you so much for being on my channel. I really appreciate your support and I shall see you the next time around. Bye.